Hey guys, welcome back to another F1 2020 My Team video and today we are here for the Dutch Grand Prix and I am very excited for this race. It's a bit of a strong track for me. Um, most of the time it, it works so it looks like I could really possibly score some points here but you can see closing up to the teams like Renault and AlphaTauri. Um, you see we're getting close to AlphaTauri on the aero part now on the chassis there's not much i really want to upgrade on the chassis we are getting closer to renault but a big upgrade is still too far away for it to work so it won't help that much so let me go and have a look at possibly an error upgrade i'm not too sure what i should go for um really i th i really do think i should go with an error upgrade so yeah i think this will get us a lot closer so that's gonna be ready for the spanish Grand Prix so that is a bit far away for us but looking into activities uh, I really want to go with some good things for like chassis department focus but I also want to do some good things for Hubert as well so I think I'm I'm looking through now I'm going to do the funded team event that just though it's 20k off, uh, which goes 30 resource points but also I get uh, ev all the departments like me more simulation training for of course um, Antoine Hubert and I'm gonna get some chassis team building so we can go a little bit further with that now you can see we're getting close to Renault and McLaren so that is definitely working out um, we've got still I think another two upgrades to come power upgrade and a, of course an error upgrade get a bit closer but um, looking here you can see en my engine is a bit worn 39% worn and especially is the ICE that is a decent amount worn now but looking here you can see gearbox we can't afford to get any more durability on the car I do think I really do need to get some more durability so let's go and advance the time a bit and let's see what we can do so you can see we've now gotten that team funding event here we are it's it's a press interview with Will Buxton wow that is um a lot different I didn't think that would be happening but you can see here we've also got that we're getting better but let's do the Will Buxton interview right now here we are in the HQ of our newest Formula One team we've got an awful lot to talk about so let's jump straight in your second driver seems to be getting much more comfortable with their car have you been focusing on their development Yes, we have. We have been focusing on a lot of development for our driver, trying to get them faster, more comfortable with the car. They've been putting a lot of hours into the simulator to help us learn. What are your predictions for your team going into this season? We think we may score some points here and there across the season. I think we could fight for some midfield positions, possibly a podium or two, but I don't think we'll get that far. But I think we will just be looking for some points across this entire season of 22 races. Let's talk about your new second driver. How are they settling in? Really, I think Antoine is loving the car. He's doing really well, keeping good positions, and I think he'll do really well. And he is loving the entire car. Your team's been picking up points fairly consistently. Do you think you'll be able to become a challenge to the top teams in the future? I think we could compete against some of the top teams in Formula 1, but I don't think that will come too soon and I do think it will be more in the future taking a lot more time to develop the car and get better as a team altogether. Would it be safe to say that in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team? No, I, I don't see as my career comes first before the team. Uh, I, th I think really my career, I think the team is more important than my career. And thanks so much as ever for your time, it's hugely appreciated. So here we are back at the base after that really good interview. But you can see we've got some more resource points but we still don't have enough to get any upgrades on the car right now. Now I do want to get another upgrade from the chassis department, get some more resource points. Um, although we're, we, I do want to get higher spec on each department, get reach the top of the spec departments, but still 
we don't have enough money at the moment we just need that little bit more but still looking still we haven't got much but still i really do want to make the departments better especially like powertrain department or durability really get their resource point production high so we can get further but let's go and advance the time a bit further to see what we'll get and there we go we've gotten some spark plugs that will help us with engine power now this is the one of two upgrades we got we're now above Haas and Ferrari in engine power, so this will definitely help us. Oh, this this will really help us, especially at this point in the season. If we can get that engine power, get ahead of many teams, get just that. This will really help, especially on tracks like Azerbaijan, uh, Spain, and many of the tracks which need more straight line speed. But we have we are closing up to Alpha Tauri though in the aero. Now let's head back and let's go and advance the time a bit further. There we go, we've got some resource points. Will it be enough to buy something? Uh, no, no, it doesn't look like we have enough to buy in the chassis or aero. No, we still don't have enough by just such a short amount. But let's just continue the time all the way up to the Dutch Grand Prix. So here we are for the Dutch Grand Prix, round five of the season. I can't wait. I think it's going to be a crazy qualifying and a crazy race. And yeah, it will be an absolutely crazy round this. I think it'll be great. And I think it'll be great for the team and see how good Antoine Hubert is around here. My teammate, will he be good enough? But let's head into the Dutch Grand Prix. So yes, here we are for the Dutch short qualifying session. I'm not sure how this will go. It might go well, it might not. We'll have to see how well it will. Uh, got my custom setup as you can see. Netherlands dry, sticking that setup on. L let's see what we can really do in this session. Let's go and accelerate the time a bit further. Let I really want to see what the times are and see how quick I can go. Could I possibly get P15 like before? This isn't so much of a strong track for me, so I don't think I'll do so well, but I may do well enough in this qualifying session, but only Ricardo out on track. So let's head out to the track. Oh, this is so exciting as here we go for our first lap, but you can see in the bottom right corner, we have some engine wear on our car. So this will mean we'll have reduced straight line speed, but still, I think we'll have enough power for this race, but going a bit high on the fuel, going into turn one, taking the apex very nicely, it's, it was very good. Now coming up to turn two and turn three, the quick right and left, and now into the really long left curved corner, that was a very good exit. Coming through, we need to get a really good exit off of a lot of these corners, but really, I find here at Zandvoort that I struggle for grip especially on the rear especially in the my team car I seem to be struggling for a bit of rear grip and and actually I found that a lot of front grip as well especially when you start to lock up just once or twice your tires feel horrible but very nice coming onto the second DI zone we're going on to and here we go very good coming up into this tight section the tightest section on the track very nice, not touching the curb. I should have maybe taken a bit more curb off of the exit very quick. A little bit of a slow response. Just think the car could have gone a little bit quicker. But now off of the final curved corner, banked corner as well. Here we go. DRS enabled. It's only enough for P18. Oh. And here we are on our second lap. As you can see, I carried on this lap. Locking up heavily. I'm sort of giving up a little bit, but oh slide on the rear and I'm oh that was a bit close to the wall, but here we go for my second my second proper lap after I went and got some fresh softs. Four tenths up. How good this will this be? This will be P eleven. Oh my god, this could be the best chance. But here we are at the end of qualifying. P thirteen for me, Valtteri Bossas on pole. And um, Max Verstappen second, Sebastian Vettel third. I'm down in 13th. Where is my teammate? Esteban Ocon. He's 15th in this race. Oh, my God. 
Sorry, not in this race qualifying, but still, that is just shocking. Oh my god. That's just crazy. But let's head on to the Dutch Grand Prix. It was 35 years ago that the late great Nicky Lauda took his 25th and final Grand Prix win here at Zandvoort. He came from 10th on the grid to beat his McLaren teammate Alain Prost by just two tenths of a second. Well, Zandvoort is a very different circuit today, of course, but still one with an incredible legacy. And we're going to add to that. Welcome along to the 2020 Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout a 2.6 mile lap. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Vettel, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Perez, Albon, Stroll and Lando Norris, Ricardo, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat and Ocon, Grosjean, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kevin Magnussen, Hubert, Latifi, Russell and Schumacher. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Okay, we're here for the Dutch Grand Prix now. Oh, this is so exciting for today's race. It's such a big race as well. There's possible points in for it, but I am starting last after a grid penalty because I did have to change some components in my car, which is a bit disappointing, but I could possibly still have a good chance if I'm fast enough around here. Now, in the strategy, uh, I'm going to change the strategy, not medium to soft, but I'm going to go uh, soft to medium just to make sure I have a good enough chance. So you see, I'm going to gain just a tiny bit of time, just two hundredths, but that is just enough and that is all I need in this uh, race. Just, just that little bit of extra time, but here we go for our first start on this track. It's going to be tricky off the start, lean fuel mix, or a little bit of a wheel spin off the exit. But going to the left-hand side, here I go. Whoa, I'm having to go onto the dirt. Oh, my God. Oh, Joe Venazzi broke really early there. Oh, that's crazy. Magnussen's trying to have a go at me. I'm really close up behind Ocon and Raikkonen. Going round the outside of those two. Trying to get Gasly at the same time. But I'm just going to out-traction Gasly. And use that overtake. Just to get past Gasly. And I'm going to get a warning for collision with Gasly. I'm not sure what warning that was really. Not sure. But you can see Ricardo and I believe Kivat are both fighting up ahead. I've just got this really slow house of Grosjean. Just going to go for that dive. Into what, into I would say the toughest corner on the track, but wow, what a lap one! This is, I think, my best lap one I've ever had. Now, coming to the towards the end of lap one, using overtake, Sebastian Vettel sets fastest lap using that overtake, trying to close up to Ricardo. Am I gonna go for it? I'm looking for it, and I'm going to go for it. And Ricardo nicely just gives me the space to go up on the inside, and now I'm up into P12. In the Dutch Grand Prix, going round the outside, bit of oversteer I had. But now, yellow flags behind. I'm up in P10 now, but yellow flags behind. Who will it be? Who is it who's going to be retiring from the session? I'm not too sure. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll get confirmation in a second. But I'm closing up to Norris. I'm staying close to Norris right now. Holding on to P10. Really got past Kivak quite easily, but... Norris, I'm staying close to Norris as well, so my pace is really good around here. Just holding some better speed. But still that Williams slowly going. But who is it? It's George Russell is out of the session and there is a full-blown safety car. I think I may go into the pits this lap. 
it, I think I'm going to go for the hards. I think that will be the best strategy. Go for the hards. That will work the best. So yeah, going for the hards. Here we go. Going into the pits. How am I going to do going into the pits? Here on lap four. It's, I'm going to have to hold those hards for very long. But you can see, ah, oh, Leclerc just got out in front just. But into the pits. How quick will our pit stop be? Remember, our quickest was 2.1 seconds, I believe. But it's 2.5, so not far off, but still a little bit slow. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I'm P20, of course. Vettel is P21 after spinning earlier in the race. I just couldn't find the clip that he did as it as I had a massive screen freeze, so I missed it. But safety car, okay, I'm already going. Perfect timing to get past Perez. Moving over, bit of contact between me and Perez. Dive bombing, it's so close. Getting past Sainz. But I'm going but Perez still is gonna hold in there. Now I'm behind Hamilton and Jovanazzi making some really good moves. I got past Hubert. But will Hamilton Jovanazzi do something good here? I'm really closing up. Jovanazzi's backed out, having to lock up heavily. Now I'm gonna go around the outside on these hards as well. These hards are really working and just again, just look at that. Just out traction in um Jovanazzi there. Um, just because I've got fresher tyres on, but also, I don't know how, but I'm just my car seems to like these hards around this track, so it may actually work out much better than I thought it would, but I'm just going to have to stay close to Hamilton and Verstappen, who are both in front of me, but I'm not sure which car's holding them up. It looks like it's a Haas, which is holding them up. I'm not sure which Haas it is. Possibly, I think it could possibly be Magnus, and I don't think he's pit yet, but I'm not too sure. But still... Oh, la locking up, going over the curb. I went very far over the curb, but keeping close with Hamilton and Verstappen right now here on lap eight. Uh, who is it? It looks like I can just see part of their name. It does look like it. Ma it's Magnussen. But you see, I'm just staying close to these guys. These this will be very good for DRS tow. This will really work. DRS is now enabled as well. Yes, it is Magnussen. I can just see the Nissan on the back. But there's been yellow flags behind it looked like there'd been some contact but i'm staying really close to hamilton but look at these cars they're really slowing down Raikkonen and ocon having a fight further out front but at the moment okay i'm up to p7 of course a couple of people have now pit but now i think more people are going to pit yes there's already some cars pitting out in front using that drs keeping in drs so where am i going to move up to i'm going to move up to p3 no, P4 at the moment. I thought I'd move up to P3 because I thought Magnussen was still was going into the pits. But no, he's not. He's leading the race now. And somehow he's stopping Verstappen, Verstappen and also Hamilton from overtaking him. Magnussen, this is like, this is some early stuff for Magnussen. <laughs> wow, he's really pushing. Uh, he has to be low on ERS or low on fuel because he... This can't just be him being quick round here. He's holding up Verstappen, but massive lock-up for me. But I'm staying close to Verstappen and Hamilton. But I do think Magnussen will pit this up, but I've got DRS. That's good for me, using some rich mix. But Perez and Sainz are both catching me right now, so that won't help. But more lock-ups. I'm up into P3 in this race. I'm P3 after Magnussen has pit, of course. But I am P3. Oh my god, locking up, going very wide. And there's contact between me and Perez. Bit of oversteer, side by side, into the left-hander. He's got more traction than me. He's on the mediums, but I'm on the hards. But I've been driving these hards for a lot longer, and they are more warm. But here we go, side by side, into one of the tightest corners on the track. I've gone a bit wide, but Perez is using the whole track, just trying to get me in some way. I'm really pushing, of course. Now my engine issue has come back again, but another part of my engine is worn, so I will still be a bit low on power, but I've still got enough Lewis Hamilton set fast to slap. I'm just about a second off of Hamilton's quickest, but still, P Perez going for another move, some contact between me and Perez again. Lucky I didn't get a puncture from that, but still very tough in this race. I'm really pushing. I just need to hold on to P3 just for five more laps. Just five more. And I might be safe for the rest of this race. Um, but yeah, I think it will be really tough. Me, 
versus Perez versus Sainz and also I believe there's one of the Ferraris closer behind so it's going to be really close I, I'm not sure I'm, I'm really not sure now who is going to actually take a podium in this race will it be me I'm just shocked that I'm even in P3 in this race but I'm going to hold on to everything I can just to make sure I can just hold on to P3 but Perez getting really close to the rear of my car he's right up my gearbox right now oh he's really close but Perez uh, sorry Leclerc has gotten past signs but I've made a bit of a gap over a second gap between me and Perez but it looks really close right now between me and Perez and Leclerc I think it's going to be a really close finish to the race but on to lap 15 of course Wow, this has been such a tough Grand Prix from the start. We had such a good start off of lap one and now we just need to keep on pushing with everything we've got in this race, anything we have left in this race as well. It's going to come down to, I'm just going to have to use all the fuel I have, all the ERS. See, I'm already a bit low on ERS. Here we are now on lap 16, only a couple of laps left to go. Oh, only three whole laps left. And there's contact between me and Perez. I didn't even realise I had contact with Perez for a second there. I didn't even realise. But wow, Leclerc's now past Perez. And now I've got a Ferrari right on the back of me. This isn't good. Really, with Perez on the... Uh, with Leclerc, sorry, on the back of me, this is not good. Because look, he's already eyeing up a move. He's got the inside line. I'm going to use the outside line. Squeezing all. Oh, he just... The AI just backed out all of a sudden. I have never seen that. Especially at the final corner, but onto the final two laps of this race. But I, I'm i just confused by what Leclerc did. And now he's fighting with Perez. But here we are coming towards the end of lap 17 now. And Leclerc's eyeing up a move and he's side by side, both using overtake... I'm using which fuel mix. I remember, I have more power than the Ferraris, so I will be better in a straight line, possibly by three, possibly by one or possibly three to four kilometers per hour. But Leclerc's having a go now, and now I'm going to be close, close enough. But I have perfectly timed it, so I'll get DRS. So here we go. Just look at that sweet pass going on to now the final lap of the Dutch Grand Prix. Am I going to hold on to P3? If I get a podium in just our fifth race in my team, this will be crazy. I'm already racing on 108 AI difficulty. In this uh, video, I sadly don't show it, but I will show you in the next video. But still, I'm on 108 AI difficulty. And somehow, I've gone from last to third on the grid. But am I going to hold on to third? Leclerc is still so close. Anything could happen. I've just set personal best in sector one on worn hearts. How am I doing this? I, I don't know how I'm how I am just doing this at this point. Accelerating, come on. Just a couple more corners. I'm using lean mix to save a bit of fuel up to standard. Now here comes Leclerc trying to go for a move. I've locked up. I've gone wide. But Leclerc has spun. No, he nearly spun there. Oh, and Max Verstappen wins. The Grand Prix, the Dutch Grand Prix's home race with Red Bull. Red Bull take their first victory to stop Mercedes. But here we come, coming up to the line. It's going to be enough for P3 in the Dutch Grand Prix. Oh my God, we did it. We actually did it in just our fifth race. I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> A collision. Oh, oh my God. That is just... How? But Red Bull take their first victory of the season with Verstappen. But Hamilton was close behind throughout most of the race. But that was really close. But you can see my car just in the little distance with my helmet on. I, d I don't know what to say. I just, I just don't know. How have we done that? How? I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just shocked. But Verstappen lifts that trophy. But we're third. Look, I'm right there on the right. Oh, my God. I, I honestly think this is 
one of the best Grand Prix I have ever had in any F1 game at all. But Verstappen takes the victory. But, oh, what a race. But look at the lap times. It was so close. Me and Perez, were, we were very close in lap times. Uh, you know, Verstappen was like a second quicker than me, which was crazy fast. But I, I, just, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to what just happened. We scored third place in the seventh quickest car in just our fifth race. How have we done that? I don't think that will happen again. But Hubert's 20th. He went from 19th to 20th. And of course, George Russell DNF'd in this race. Oh, Williams not having the great, the greatest of luck. So I think they, one of their cars were tired in, I think, Vietnam. I think Bahrain and Vietnam, I think both their cars were tired, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but still, just crazy. But in the driver standings, I am up into 11th place with 15 points, while my teammate drops to 21st in the standings. Alfa Romeo, they're so far behind, they're not even coming up with their name, but we're 7th in the Constructors. We could have a real battle on for possibly 6th or 5th this season is really close because you know Williams is now 10th and Haas is 9th but we have surpassed Alpha Tauri but it's good to have one great performance but if we have that once every five races we need to be scoring more consistent points so yeah I can't wait but let's head back to, back to the base because I'm just I'm just so shocked with that let's just let's just head back to the base Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Did you struggle to get through all that traffic today? Honestly, I don't think there was much of a struggle with traffic. We had a good amount of downfalls, but I just pushed as hard as I could in the race. Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. Uh, I, I really do think the team pulled out all the stops in today's race and qualifying. And I think it was amazing. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Well, I think F1 is a team sport, and I think the teams put in an extreme amount of effort, and everybody does in this sport. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip, or did you just misjudge some corners? Well, we did it. We, we scored our first ever podium in Formula 1 in my team in just our fifth race but I'm just lost for words and I hope you guys honestly I hope you guys have enjoyed this crazy my team video today and I hope that you guys will please leave a like also subscribe let's try and reach 50 subscribers by the end of this month also, click on the notification bell to know from about more Ken content like this. And also, please tell me down in the comments, down below, what you thought of the video, what you think could have happened, what you think might have happened or might have not happened. But I wish you guys the best. And I will see you in another video. And the next video will be day after tomorrow at the time of this recording, so on Thursday. But I hope you guys have a lovely week, a lovely day, and, and enjoy this video. And I will see you in the next video, which will be at the Spanish Grand Prix. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.